So I'm back in the candy controller and let's say we want to group all the candy under one category here. For example, best sellers. So we can carry the data using so-called view bag, which is a dynamic property. So we can assign any property to it on the fly. We don't have to declare it anywhere. So here in my action, before we return here, I can create a view bag and assign it a property, any name I want. Let's say current category. And I'll name this one bestseller. Now I don't have to pass the view bag into the view. It will go with it automatically. If I go to my view now to the list.cshtml, let's say in the body before the for each loop, I can now display this category in an h1 tag. I can go to my view bag and the property is the current category. Remember this property has to match this property. This is created dynamically, but the names have to match, of course. So let's run it now and see if the view bag is displayed in the view. And once again, we have to go to the controller, so which is the candy and the action list. And now look here, we have the bestsellers category as H1 tag. So this is working correctly. But there's a better approach than using a view bag and that is to use view models. View model is a class that will contain all the data for the view and will be constructed in a controller and then passed into the view, just like we pass the current view, except this one will have multiple classes or multiple data as we need. So let's close this and let's create our view model. But first, of course, we're going to create a folder for it, which I will call view models. So right click candy shop, add folder and name it view models. And I'm going to add a class to it. So add class and I want to be descriptive here. So I'll name it candy list view model. So that will indicate that this is for the list inside of the candy controller. And this is a simple class and we only need, let's say two properties here. We want to display each of those uh, candy as well as the current category. So we will do public property for the I enumerable of candy. So this is going to be of type candy. And I'll name this one candies. And it's a property with get and set. Of course, I need to bring in the namespace for the candy, which is in the models. And the second piece of data we want to display is another property. And this one is going to be a string. And instead of having a property in the view back called current category, I'll declare it here. So now we need to go back to our controller and make some changes there. First of all, we don't need the view back anymore. I'm going to just comment it out. And I'm going to comment out this return statement as well, because we don't want to just return all candy, now we want to return the view model for the candy list. So we need to construct or instantiate the candy list first, because that is a class that needs to be instantiated. So we'll create a variable that I'll call candy list view model. And that's going to be a new instance of candy list view model. Of course, let's bring in the namespace, which is now in the candy shop that view models folder. So now we have an instance of our view model and now we can add those properties to it. So we have two properties. If you remember, we have the candy and we have the current category. So let's bring in the candy and the candy simply comes from what we had before from the repository and calling get all candy. So here I'll go to my candy list view model dot and the property I want is the candies. And that will come and I'll just paste it here from the candy repository, get all candy method or property. And the second property for our candy list view model is the current category. So let's add that one. And that is the current category, which is just a string. And I'm going to hard code it here as best sellers. 
So this is all the data that we need from the view model and we'll simply pass it into the view. So we'll do a return, a view, and we'll pass in the view model, which is the candy list view model. But this time I don't want view result. I want to change this to more typical, which is I action result. Returning I action result from the actions is the most common type that you return because you can use views and all other types as well because they are part of the I action result collection. So our action is ready. Now let's modify also the view because now, so in our view, we don't have the view bag anymore and we are not using candy model. So I'm going to remove this because the model we want is the view model candy list and we don't want it as i enumerable because it by default returns i enumerable because we have the list of all candies right here. So we'll simply go to candy shop dot and to view models folder and select our candy list view model. And then instead of the view back, I'm going to use the model dot and you can see I have the candies and the current category here. So I want to display the current category and to loop through it. Now we don't loop through the model because we have two properties there. Now we go to model dot and we want to loop through candies only. And that's all the changes we need. So we are looping through the list of all candies and display the name, price and category. And we display the current category from the model. So if I run it now, you won't see any difference, but now we are using better approach using view model instead of a view bag. So let's go to our candy slash list and you can see everything is the same. All right, so, so far so good, but of course you can see that this is not looking very appealing and we have to type, if you remember in our view, all the HTML. It would be nice if we could reuse those parts and as it happens, we can, and we do that using partial views. So let's work with those next. 